Commonwealth can call the next witness. <clears throat> Commonwealth calls Officer Lonawea. He's outside. You swear from the testimony you're about to be able to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay, have a seat. Thank you. Now, I understand that you used to work at Corrections. I did. And now you're at, in a recruit class for Little Metro Police, correct? Correct, sir. Okay. So, can you uh, state and spell your full name for me? Uh, Michael Lonoia, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-L-O-N-O-A-E-A. Okay, thank you. Mr. Higgins? Yes. Excuse me. <clears throat> and so I believe you did say, but you could please introduce up to the jury your name? Uh, Michael Lone Ohio. And uh, how are you so employed right now? Uh, with LMPD. Okay, are you working or in the academy? Or? I'm in the academy. Okay, so you're training to become a police officer? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what was your job before being in the police academy? I worked at Louisville Metro Corrections. And what was your job there? Uh, BA technician. Okay. How long did you work there as a BA technician? Um, almost three years. Okay. Uh, in order to get that job, did you have to perform any kind of training? Yes, sir. We went to Richmond for a week. Okay. BPA certified. Okay. And then in that training, were you certified to become a BA op a breath test operator? Yes, sir. And you successfully complete that training? Yes, sir. Okay. And were you certified to be a breath test operator back in 2019? Yes, sir. Okay. So, just briefly, what was your job in the BA lab? What was your title and your responsibilities? Uh, to conduct the breathalyzer on DUI okay. subjects, people, uh, the agencies that brought them in. Can you all hear him? Okay. You may want to speak up just a little bit. Yes, sir. So you worked in the jail? Yes, sir. Okay. When an officer brought a suspect to you, what would be what would you do when someone was brought to you in the jail? Uh, we would have um, a procedure. We would bring them in to the breath lab. Uh, we would introduce ourselves, and then we would read them a series of uh, warnings or statements. Um, if you ask them if they had anything in their mouth, and then we would proceed on to the implied consent warning. Um, we would read that to them. We would give them the opportunity to call a lawyer. Um, we would uh, complete the breath operator report. Then after the 20 minute observation period, we would uh, ask for a breath sample. Okay. And was there any kind of equipment or machines that you used in the lab? Yes, sir. Uh, it's called intoxilizer. Toxizer, is it the Toxizer 5000, I think? 8000. 8000 was 5. Yes, sir. What is that machine? What does that do? Uh, it uh, reads the breath alcohol content the subject, in subjects of uh, mouth. Okay. Are there any safeguards to keep this machine that, that it works? Or is there anything, any procedures with that that makes it reliable? Yes, sir. It goes uh, through its uh, ACABA, I believe. What's that? It goes through its air blanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before. But are there other procedures? Like, for example, is there things that with the machine automatically work? Was there things to make sure the machine's in proper working order? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so again, is there a prescribed method that you use to perform these tests with this machine? Yes, sir. And is this the way you, your standard operating procedure you always do on every, almost every case? Yes, sir. And I assume you've done lots of these breath tests. Is that correct? Fair enough, yes, Okay. Sir. And if I could, I approach the witness. Yes, sir. You recognize what that document is there? Yes, sir. Can you tell us the jury what that is? It's a breath operator's report. Okay. Is that the report you fill out when someone comes to the VA lab? Correct. Okay. And is there a... Uh, Date on that report? Yes, sir. What is that date? 6 30 19. Okay. And is there a name of the person who performed the test on that date? Yes, sir. Who was that? 
Hillsman, Jamal. Okay. Did you have an opportunity to interview Mr. Hillsman on that day? I I read him his rights and he invoked them. So okay. He okay. didn't want to answer. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Um, what again? What did you do? What do you, when someone brought you with this test? What's the first thing you do? Oh, I asked them if they have anything in their mouth at this time. They are not allowed to eat or drink anything within the, the 20 minute observation period. Okay, and what's the purpose of that? To make sure that they put anything in their mouth. Okay. And then did you note that in your, on this report? Yes, sir. Okay. And then did you read him his rights? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Did you, on the second page, did you make any notation about the physical appearance? Of the defendant, remarks on his speech or walk? Yes, sir. What did you note? Uh, he had glassy uh, eyes, and his eyes was also red slightly. Okay. Most members, may I approach the witness again? Yes, sir. Thank you, VA ticket. Do you recognize what that document is I've just handed you there? Yes, sir. What is that? Uh, so I take it that the instrument prints out after uh, you give the breath test. Okay. Is that the same ticket you use on every case that comes through, Fair? Yes, sir. Until we got the 8,000. Okay. But it's similar to that, though. Yes, sir. Okay. And again, just for the record, is there a serial number on that for what machine that is? An SSN? SN? Yes, sir. What is that serial number, please? Uh, 68 01 0433. Okay, and is there a date when this test was performed? Yes, sir. What was that? 6-30-19. And was there a time stamp after that when the test was performed? Yes, sir. What was that? 0 4 0 Okay. And again, Commonwealth would like to, uh, would like to submit to the records, Commonwealth Exhibit 2, the uh, certified breath alcohol maintenance records of that machine on the test on the before and after that date. Sure. May we approach your honor? Sure. I would not object if Mr. Higgins was trying to uh, introduce the breathalyzer slip, but how did we jump from the breathalyzer slip to the intoxilizer machine records of a witness who is not currently on the stand since Mr. Lanorea never actually calibrated the machine. Correct, but under KRE 908, it's a self-authenticating document that I can enter in copies based on the rule of evidence. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he's right under the rules of evidence. Also, it's in it's a document kept in the normal course of business that I can in the correction department. I think it's you know, uh, it's it's clearly missing. Yeah, so, yeah, well, if that's the case, then he at least needs to lay a foundation before that document will get introduced, because we just jumped from... I do not. It's a self-authenticating document. It is. I give rules of evidence. That's my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. No objection. Can the common like to mark was the common exhibit to present to the court, please? Okay. You can ask some questions about this. Okay. Mr. Higgins, you can ask questions okay, about this. Okay. Okay. I'm... You want this back? Please, I was going to. Okay, let me, let me write on it real quick. Then I will need it back eventually. Right here, sir. You need me to approach the witness again? Yes, sir. I need the same document to them. No objection, Your Honor. If you could, officer, we've just admitted that as, as a, a document to the court. Again, we've noted on the serial number on that. Is that the same serial number you just read out? Yes, sir. And again, on the date, what was this performed? Do you please put the date? 6 13 19. Okay, so before the test. And on the line, I'm just pointing you there, too, for the comments. Would you say what the records race said on that, please? Test okay, instrument ready for use. Okay, thank you. Let me approach again to you in front of it. And also the same thing. Again, the maintenance director, also on the same machine, the serial number you stated earlier? Yes, sir. And the date afterwards on? 7 2 19. 
And again, the same comment section, please. Could you read that for the record, please? Test OK. Instrument ready for use. Okay, so let's go back to the ticket we have there with in front of you. Um, again, you state, and again, next on the ticket, does the ticket list a name of the person who the test was administered to? Yes, sir. And what was that name? It was in Jamal. Okay. Does it also list an operator of the machine? Yes, sir. And what is that? Lona Aya M. Which is? Michael, myself. You? Okay, yes. And does it also list an arresting officer after that, too? Yes, sir. And who would that read as? Fritz. Okay. From Shadley? Yes, sir. Okay. And is that your name and signature down below on the bottom there under the operator line, M. Lonawaya? Yes, sir. Okay. And did you make it when you began the observation? Did you make a notation when your observation began? Yes, sir. And what time did you mark down on that ticket? 0223. So 2 in the morning, 223 in the morning, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now up on the top, there's like five different lines and tests. Could you explain to us what those numbers are? Uh, it's an air blank which is triple zeros, then it's, uh, the instrument goes into a cal check, which is 0 .079, and then another air blank, which is triple zeros, point zero zero zero, then the subject's test, which is point zero nine nine, and then another air blank, which is point zero zero zero. Okay, so just to explain a little bit more, so when you start the machine, what that first number is, is what is the triple zero? What is that? What is that to do? To clear out the machine? What is that for? Yes, sir. Clear. Your Honor, I'm I, I want to object to I, counsel testify. I am. Uh, I, I agree. I'll, re, I'll rephrase the question. Yeah. I'll lead the witness. You, that's correct. Mm -hmm. What is the first number, please? Point zero zero zero. And what is that? Indicating there's no alcohol in this system. Okay. And what is the second line? It's a cow check. What does that mean? The instrument has to... Um, be in a, a certain range. Okay. And was it in a range that on that ticket? Yes, sir. What thing said? Okay. Point zero seven nine. Okay. And what's the third line? Another air blank. Okay. What's the point of that? Make sure that there's no alcohol in this in the system. Okay. And what is the fourth line? Then that's when you administrate the test. Okay. The subject to get the breath. So was that the actual test? Yes, sir. Okay. And what is the final fifth line? Another air blank. Okay. And what is that? Point zero zero zero, indicating there's no alcohol in the system. Okay. And again, on the fourth line, the test, the actual test, what was the time of the test? Zero two four five. So zero two in the morning, forty two forty five, thank you. Yes, sir. Again, so Based on those numbers there, would you say the machine was in proper working order that day? Yes, sir. And that the, the chemicals was all in the air banks were all in balance, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, and again, you said you started the observation at what time? 0223. And the test was in? 0245. So, and that was within how many minutes? The 20 minute observation period. Okay. And, and again, was the, the purpose of that 20 minute observation period, I think you said earlier? Just make sure that they're not putting anything in their mouth. Okay. Did he have anything in his mouth in that 20 minutes? No. Okay. And again, I think you stated earlier at this time, were you certified in, to be a breath test operator on that time, at that date and time? Yes, sir. Okay. And was that test performed according to your standard operating procedures? Yes, sir. Okay. At this time, the column would like to mark, and this is column exhibit three. No objection, Your Honor. So no. I'm referring you back to your breath uh, report before that too. If you could please, sir. After you administer a breathalyzer test, what do you do after that? Uh, I advise them that they have the opportunity to get an independent blood test. Okay, and did you do that on this circumstance? Or do you remember if you can refresh your memory? Yes, sir. I asked him. 
So you did give him the opportunity to ask for an independent blood test? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. That's all the question I have this time. We reserve the right to redirect. Okay. Mr. Foreman, cross-examination? Oh, actually, if I may. Go ahead. May I have you allow me to ask one more question? Please. And again, if I, did you make, uh, my mistake, did you make a, re, was there, do you have a recording, of, do you make recordings of these tests? Yes, sir, they're on body cam. Okay, and did you make a body camera this time? Yes, sir. Okay, and when you, do you test, when they first come in, is that when you start, uh, uh, recording them when we uh, when there's the exchange between me and the officer usually that's when I activate the camera okay and then when the actual test uh, is performed then what do you do I mean do you, I'm sorry when the actual test is performed do you still record it at that time yes uh, 2019 no oh why not at that time that was just a procedure the breath opera uh, the breath test wasn't recorded okay and do you turn the tape back on after that yes okay and this time, can I ask to play the video of that day? Yes. Can we all stand? Let me get the right uh, thing up here. That is the right law table. Can we approach our honor? Yes. testified that uh, Mr. Hillsman invoked his right to remain silent and the video contains verbal statements of the client in response to questioning and so as a result we would object to the video being admitted because it contains uh, a recording of these of, of parts of the conversation including related to the test after he's invoked his rights. That's, that's not, I don't actually need to play the video. If, they, if, they, if we say by agreement we don't the video is not necessary to inform the jury of that. I don't need to play the video. I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. I mean, the, the I would like for them to see at least a, the silence portion of the video when there is no talking between. You mean uh, the 20-minute period? We don't have to play the entire period again. I'm trying to save the jury time. But if we can just play maybe like five minutes of that, excluding the phone conversation, just so that they, they because there is a video and I want them to see that there was a video there. Um, we don't need to show the video. If we, as I, I would be happy to let the defense I can introduce it, but 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 the, I don't again. My, I don't want to come saying that we that as long as we've written no argument that the Commonwealth did not show this video. As long as we, I'm not going to. Okay, it. okay. If that's the agreement, then I'm fine with that. Okay, we've got a result. So no video. Right. That's fine. Actually, this uh, this time this is all the comments of this time. Okay. I may have just a brief moment, Your Honor. Sure. Good afternoon, officer, or former, no, officer. former, sorry, I'm, I'm force of habit, as they say. Um, former Department of Corrections officer, I'm, I'm going to, I'm scared to butcher your name. Go ahead and try. Lonoe? No. No. Lono Aya. Lono Aya. Correct. Is that Hawaiian? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Lono Aya. I'm going to have to practice it all day, and I'm still going to get it wrong. I apologize. No, you're fine. Um, so, uh, just very briefly, I, I want to touch upon a few points uh, that were addressed during direct examination of the events that transpired on the night of uh, June 30th, 2019, okay? So, you, as a former corrections officer, for three years, your job was... Uh, as individuals would come in after they were being arrested is to process them to be ready to take the breathalyzer machine test, right? Correct. And on direct examination, there was a little bit of confusion. I just want to clear that up for myself and for the jury. 
uh, you mentioned that there's an intoxilizer 5,000 and then there's an intoxilizer 8,000, right? Correct. The 8,000 is the more newer model Correct. of the intoxilizer that came out later, much later than the intoxilizer 5,000, right? I don't know when they came out, but... You don't know that the intoxilizer 5000 EN that you used on this case was built around 1985, 1986? I wasn't aware of that. You were not aware of that? The, the date of the year. Does that sound right looking at the machine? Oh, probably, yeah. And the, the calibration records that we talked about... Um, that you talked about on direct examination, you did not actually perform the calibration of the machine, the monthly calibrations I'm referring to, not the pre-test calibration that you obviously did do, the monthly calibration on the early month of June, July, and August, that was not done by you, correct? Correct. One of the things that you wrote down in your report, I don't know, do you, do you have a copy of the report in front of you, the two pages back and forth? Um, on the back page, I believe it's on the back page where it says, remarks on speech, walk, and general observations of the subject. Do you yes, see sir. that? Yes, sir. Um, you wrote down that uh, subject, referring to Mr. Hillsman, right? Uh, disclosed on the phone, that, quote, he was blinded by vehicles, lights, and went off the road and hit someone's house, end quote. Right? Correct. It's on there. And you wrote that down because that's what you heard Mr. Hillsman say that night, correct? When he was on the phone. Okay. When he was on the phone when yes, you were sir. during the 20-minute observation period, right? Yes, sir. Are you doing another video? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Just one second, if I may, please. Oh, do okay, not. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm ready to find the spot. Yes, sir. Just one second. Okay, so the night you were at uh, Louisville Metro Department of Corrections. On the night of June 30th, 2019, you uh, had a opportunity to record the interaction between yourself and Mr. Hillsman on a body lapel camera that you set on the table, correct? Correct. If we may have the video uh, turned on for counsel's table, Your Honor. It is operational. Thank you. You can put it in the pocket, bro. We'll go ahead and uh, read you your mind. All right. The actual address is 400 South 6th Street. You did say that you read him his Miranda rights and he waived them, correct? Correct. Okay. I think he misspoke there too. I think I think he said he, he did redeem his Miranda rights. I think he says he did. What but I think he, he didn't invoke him. I think you. He did read. He, he, uh, he did read Miranda rights. Yes. He he did he he did not agree to 
he didn't mind a lady, I think, when he did this. So, um, oh, Mr. Hillsman, he did not wait. I'm not sure what you're trying to do. Or did, yeah. he, did he invoke it? Yes. 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 Right. Okay, well, some, some I agree with Jim. His language now is, is confusing to me and him about whether he invoked his rights or not. Right. Because now it sounds like he's, he's waived it. Exactly. It sounded as though the witness changed well, his position from invoked to waived. And it was clear he's really he giving you an, an opportunity to clarify yeah. for yes. your defense, right. okay? Okay. Because I, did, I, I heard, didn't realize I said that. What I heard is there an agreement that he was Miranda? Yes. And that he invoked. Yes. Then you need to, you need to clarify. I will. Thank you. Will do Thank you. And I, I apologize again. Just for clarification purposes, when you asked Mr. Hillsman whether or not he will waive his rights to speak to you, he invoked his rights and did not speak to you, correct? Correct. correct. Just for clarification of the record. Timestamp being 62457. Is that accurate? On the timestamp on that body cam? Yes, sir. No. Sorry? No, sir. It's not accurate? What do you mean it's not accurate? He, he, he needs to be able to see that thing, oh, too. Please, if you can't see, please. Feel you free can step to over there, officer, if you want to look. I'm not trying to mislead you. Sir, I just want to make sure that you're seeing the same thing that I'm seeing. And if it's a different time zone, please feel free to correct me. I believe the time was, those body cams times weren't actually what the time was when we did the, did the test. So that time is wrong? Yes. Okay, that, that was my only question. Okay. Because it says 62457 GMT plus zero. Do you know what that means? No. Because I sure don't. Is that European time? No clue, sir. Okay. And you've testified that Mr. Hillsman did make a phone call, right? Yes, sir. And he stated to the uh, person on the other end of the line uh, that he was blinded, I think there's a typo here, but blinded by vehicles, lights, and went off the road and hit someone else. Someone's house, excuse me. Correct. Right? That's because that's what you heard that night. Yes, sir. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't write it down, would you? No. I may have a moment, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Just one final question, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. um, are you aware of the effects of smoking on the intoxilizer machine? Smoking? Yes, sir. While inside the lab? Or Either before uh, being administered a breath test prior to the 20 minute observation period, ir uh, regardless of the observation period, are you aware of what uh, consuming tobacco products, since you're, the, the machine is designed to detect lungs, right? It looks at the alveolar air in the lungs to detect alcohol. That's what the machine does, correct? The it's, intoxilizer 5000? Correct. It 
witness. Please stop me if I'm wrong. I'm, I mean, I'm not an expert witness. I'm just a, a breathalyzer or was, was a breathalyzer operator. So you don't know the inner workings of the machine and how it does its function? To an extent, but no, I'm not an expert witness. Okay. I just know how to operate the instrument. From your training and experience that you do know, okay, let's just focus on that for a second. Do you know what smoking does and how smoking can affect and possibly elevate breath test results? I do not know. That. You do not know that? Okay. No further questions. Okay. Just briefly to clarify, um, just for the time, that, would you, well, you put it back up. Oh. I can put it back up. Just, I, I don't know if you're able to see that or not, but I think the time stamp you put there was 6.43. Would you at least, uh, under, did you acknowledge that that's exactly four hours ahead of what the ticket before the two? Are you, and it yes, said, sir. you know what Greenwich Mean Time, Greenwich mean time is? Have you heard of that? No, sir. We'd ask the court to acknowledge that Greenwich Mean Time is exactly four hours ahead of standardized time. If you're asking me to take judicial notice, I can't because I don't know that. A great school. Um, would you not, it, is exactly, it was exactly four hours ahead of the time that you testified before? Correct. And that the, the actual, the video wasn't necessarily correct, but the actual ticket. Correct. Two, okay, thank you. Just to clear that up, thank you. Any, any re-cross? No, Your Honor. Can we excuse this witness to go back to training? Oh. Yes, I believe so. I don't have an issue with that, Your Honor. You're, you're uh, free to go. Uh, good luck on your training, and I um, hope to see you out on the streets. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You like to keep, you keep uh, this here? You can just leave it there. Does the Commonwealth uh, wish to present any more witnesses or evidence? Uh, that is a close the Commonwealth's case. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, have you reached a verdict? Yes, yes we have. And who's the four person? Would you hand the verdict form to the chair, please? Thank you. You all can be seated if you'd like. We'd like to remain standing out of okay. respect for the verdict, Your Honor. Yes, sir. The verdict form is in order. Uh, we, the jury, Find the defendant Jamal Richard Hillsman not guilty under instruction three. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to poll you as to whether that's your verdict. Um, we'll call you number one. Is that your verdict, ma'am? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, Mr. Hillsman, you are acquitted of this charge and you are free to go. Is that